What about the U.S. markets? Because last quarter your revenue was down around 14 odd percent. You've received eight approvals in 2016. Your guidance is around 15 approvals, or uh, 20 approvals rather. Is it going to pick up? It is going to pick up from next quarter onwards. We have received several CRMs and we believe that uh, the products are reaching an advanced stage of approval. So we are confident that we would get those approvals this year. Okay, and when does US start growing? Uh, we will see from the uh, quarter, which is the fourth quarter onwards, the growth will be seen in the US market. Okay, uh, one of the key approvals that you received recently is Ascol HD, but you've launched it as an authorized generic at this point. Uh, what is the likelihood that maybe you'd get final approval from the US FDA and you'd possibly launch it on your own? Is that something in the pipeline that you'd be working for? So, uh, currently we have launched the authorized generic of Ascol HD and we are expecting FDA approval. We will take a decision based on uh, the approval, what next step we should do. Okay. Well, one of the criticisms uh, some analysts share is that, you know, maybe Kadila is doing too many AG launches, which is authorized generic launches. Are you going to start focusing more towards getting the final approval and then less towards AG launches or is that going to be a strategy which you will still focus on? So, AG launches are not as a part of a strategy. Our companies do approach us for launch of AG and then we do accept that those assignments. And because we have global relationship with companies, companies approach us to launch their AGs. And if we are not if they are not in our pipeline, then we would launch the AG. Hmm. As far as SS called HD is concerned, this was part of our settlement that we will launch the AG and that's the reason why we will launch the AG. The other big potential that the market is focusing towards is also Lialda which is the same uh, you know the same family as Asacol HD which is supposed to be a big potential for Kadila. What's the status on that? So as you might be aware that uh, we have uh, won the first uh, court judgment in our favor that we are not infringing the patent and uh, we would uh, await till our uh, the next action is taken by the company. Uh, we are also uh, advanced stage of approval process as far as uh, uh, Lialda is concerned. Uh, it is contingent to our Moraya plant get approved mm -hmm. uh, by FDA, which uh, would once that approved, we should expect also the regulatory approval of Lialda. Okay, well I'll come to US FDA issues later, but I want to ask you about, you know, the presidential uh, election in the US. I'm sure you, you know, you've been watching it closely. Will it have any ramifications when it comes to Indian pharma, especially when they're talking about maybe capping pricing because of the whole issue which has taken place in terms of innovative, in, innovative pricing on certain drugs? So one thing is very clear that as far as we Indian companies are concerned, we have a cost advantage and this cost advantage will make us last to leave. Hmm. So even if the, become, the situation becomes more competitive, Indian companies would be able to manufacture at a cost where, and able to compete in the US market. Okay. Uh, pricing pressure is the other concern that a lot of companies are facing in the US. Are you facing that same similar concern? Yes, I think it's because of the consolidation of the channels. Uh, we, there is definitely a pricing pressure hmm. and the impact of the, uh, the consolidation of the channels is actually now been seen by the companies. So there is a pricing pressure on the US market at this moment. This is a cyclical phase. We have seen uh, every period of two to three years or four years, we see a pricing pressure coming up and then after some of the not so efficient manufacture leave market, the mm -hmm. market stabilizes and then grows. I think that has happened in generic, uh, I call it a generic cyclic uh, nature or generic cyclic business and I think this is what actually we are seeing that we are at the bottom of the cycle now. Mm. We believe that after this bottom we will stabilize and go up. So it's not going to get worse, there are not going to be more generic companies which are going to be launching the same drugs in the US? I think competition is there, going to be there in generic if you want to be a generic player and if you expect that there is not going to be competition, I don't think it's going to be happening. But how do you beat pricing pressure in the US so if I you think, want to be in the market? I think success formula for US business is basically continuous launch of new products, mm -hmm. ability to optimize cost mm -hmm. and, and efficiency and the, the US customer not only look at price but also look at a good service level. Mm -hmm. So maintaining a good service level, supply chain efficiency are very important to become successful in this market. Okay. Well now talking about uh, the Mariah facility, 60% of sales come from that particular facility. What is, this, what is the status currently? How many site transfers have you completed? So we have completed about 10 site transfers, but we also have uh, 
requested FDA to inspect our facility. Uh, whenever FDA will come, uh, we are confident that we should be able to walk through. They should get the pro approval of Moraya facility as well. Hmm. But Moraya has been a bit of a sticky issue in the past as well. Why is that? The uh, issues uh, at uh, this time was m mainly because of the complaint investigation and a product failure on one of the mm. neurotherapeutic area products. Mm. That's the reason why we received this issue. We have been uh, doing something much more than what we should do it. As a result, we launched a program which is known as Quest. The Quest program actually addresses uh, beyond the compliance uh, kind of a sit uh, mm. situation. Mm. And I think our goal is now to move beyond compliance and making sure that we are ahead of others in terms of doing things at our plant so that we always have uh, success. And why the site transfers when you know you should have the confidence that your facility should get cleared? We had the confidence but we we realized that Muraya facility has too much of load. Okay. And we thought that this would actually reduce the load of manufacturing on Muraya and get into other facility. As a result overall the load will get distributed. Hmm. And in the process uh, from a long term supply planning also it will help us. Going forward. But do you think there's a systemic issue that Indian pharmaceutical companies face which they might be adapting to now when it comes to USFT? It's not just Cadilla, it's many companies that have received... Yeah, I think it is not a... See, it's a part of journey. Every pharmaceutical company you know have received problems, have faced problems with FDA from at different times. Hmm. It's an opportunity for you to learn and go ahead. Hmm. It's not something which one should take it as if a kind of a... Uh, problem but it should be looked at as an opportunity to actually improve and move forward. Uh, if you want to sell into market, the regulator who is responsible for the safety of the patients in uh, of, of that country, they will be extra cautious uh, about it and I think this is a part of the journey. So it's a kind of a professional hazard you would say. Yeah. That is what it is going to be there and I don't think we should be too much of uh, concern about it. It might be a temporary problem for companies, but it's not a permanent problem. Okay, so it's not a culture issue or it is a culture issue which is being resolved? Yeah, definitely it's a culture issue. We need to really have the culture of quality, culture of uh, uprightness, culture of speaking out in our organization. And I think uh, the way we are uh, been, uh, we need to change. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's very important for that is to basically develop that culture among every person working in the organization. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we achieved that through our program which is called Quest. It's a very interesting program in our plants. Mm -hmm. Every day morning when, a, when people attend the plant, they spend first 20 minutes discussing culture oh. before they go to work. Okay. So that's the kind of done every day, all the days. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the effort which you need to put it, which would change the culture. Changing culture is not easy. It is a long term requirement. So we will keep, uh, this will gradually but definitely improve. We have seen, we have, our Quest program has completed one year. We clearly see a change in culture and we are moving forward to actually continue this program forever. Mm, okay. Zyphon facility is not that uh, much of a concern for We you. were not doing any commercial yeah. business from that side. It was, uh, uh, the facility currently is shut down. Okay. For the US or in general? In general. In general. Okay. Um, just a quick word with regards to the domestic markets because, you know, the domestic sales have been single digits for the industry in the previous quarter, barring a couple of them. And that's because of NLEM, you know, the pricing list, as well as what's happening with the FTC and the lack of clarity on the same. Do you expect some resolution soon? I believe so that I will read some uh, announcement made of the newspaper article recently. Mm saying that something is being thought about by the government. I believe that uh, we industry needs a stability, mm. a stable policy and stable uh, environment so that we can invest and grow. Okay. Do you expect pick up in terms of the single digit growth that we've been seeing? Yeah, we're already seeing last month the market grew at 12.5%. Mm. So I think it is uh, we're seeing the growth picking up. And do you have a large part of your portfolio affected by FPC at all or the um, no, our lack of clarity on FTC? No, our portfolio, large portfolio is not affected by the FTC. And 20% I think is impacted by NLEM? NLEM of course, yes. Yeah. That is. So how do you counter that? No, I don't think that's uh, essential drug should be price control, that's a policy, we are happy with that. Mm. The question is if the list is changed very rapidly mm. and too much changes, 
periodically we will face this problem. So I think they should not change essentiality criteria too often. Mm. At, at, at a reasonable period they should change the essentiality criteria if it is at all required. Mm. And too many changes actually create more problem. Okay, fair enough. F I seventeen will we see domestic growth in single digits or double? Double digit for sure.